subscribe to my channel thank you from the bottom of my heart. Purse Rock Purse Rock is a large rock formation located in the Gulf of St. Lawrence in Quebec, Canada. It is situated in the Baie de Chelles, off the coast of the Gaspé Peninsula, near the town of Purse. The rock formation is a natural arch that rises out of the water and stands over 88 feet tall. It is made of sandstone and limestone and is believed to have been formed over 375 million years ago. Purse Rock is a popular tourist attraction and is often visited by those traveling to the Gaspé Peninsula. Visitors can view the rock from the shore or take a boat tour to get a closer look. The rock is also a popular spot for rock climbers, and several climbing routes have been established on its surface. One interesting fact about Purse Rock is that it was once connected to the mainland, but over time, erosion caused the arch to form and the rock to become separated from the shore. Another interesting fact is that the rock is home to a variety of seabirds, including puffins, gannets, and cormorants. Moraine Lake Moraine Lake is a stunning glacially-fed lake located in Banff National Park, Alberta, Canada. The lake is known for its striking turquoise blue color, which is caused by the refraction of light off the rock flower that flows into the lake from the surrounding glaciers. Moraine Lake is surrounded by the Canadian Rockies and is fed by the Wangshemna Glacier, which gives the lake its vibrant blue-green color. The lake is situated in the Valley of the Ten Peaks, which is a group of ten jagged peaks that surround the lake and provide a stunning backdrop for photos. Moraine Lake is a popular destination for hiking, canoeing, kayaking, and fishing. Visitors can hike around the lake on the Lakeshore Trail, which offers incredible views of the lake and the surrounding mountains. Canoe rentals are available at the lake, allowing visitors to paddle around the crystal clear waters and take in the breathtaking scenery. Due to its popularity, Moraine Lake can get crowded during peak tourist season, and visitors are advised to arrive early in the morning or later in the afternoon to avoid crowds. The lake is also closed to public access during the winter months due to safety concerns, as the area receives heavy snowfall and avalanches are a real danger. Emerald Lake Emerald Lake is another stunning glacially-fed lake located in the Yoho National Park, British Columbia, Canada. Like Moraine Lake, Emerald Lake is known for its stunning turquoise blue color and is surrounded by the Canadian Rockies, Emerald Lake is fed by glacial meltwater and is situated at an elevation of 1,309 meters 4, feet, above sea level. The lake is relatively shallow and has a surface area of about 0.5 square kilometers 0.19 square miles. The area around Emerald Lake offers numerous hiking trails, ranging from easy walks to challenging hikes that offer incredible views of the surrounding mountains and the lake. Visitors can also rent canoes or kayaks and explore the lake at their own pace. One of the highlights of Emerald Lake is the Emerald Lake Lodge, a charming historic lodge that dates back to the early 1900s. The lodge is situated on the shores of the lake and offers stunning views of the lake and the surrounding mountains. It's a great place to relax and enjoy the natural beauty of the area. Emerald Lake is also a popular spot for cross-country skiing during the winter months, with numerous trails that offer breathtaking views of the snow-covered landscape. Overall, Emerald Lake is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to the Canadian Rockies. Wells Gray Provincial Park This area, located in British Columbia, Canada. It covers an area of over 5,200 square kilometers and is home to a wide variety of wildlife, including moose, black bear, grizzly bear, cougar, and wolves. The park is known for its many waterfalls, including Helmkin Falls, which is one of the highest waterfalls in Canada. Other notable waterfalls in the park include Dawson Falls, Spahat Falls, and Mal Falls. In addition to the waterfalls, Wells Gray Provincial Park offers many outdoor recreational activities, such as hiking, fishing, canoeing, kayaking, and camping. There are also several backcountry lodges and campsites available for those who want to explore the more remote areas of the park. Overall, Wells Gray Provincial Park is a must-visit destination for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts who want to experience the beauty of the Canadian wilderness. Montmorency Falls 
Montmorency Falls is a spectacular waterfall located near Quebec City, Canada. The falls are 83 meters, 272 feet, high, which is taller than Niagara Falls, although the volume of water is much less. The falls are surrounded by a park that offers many different activities, including hiking, rock climbing, zip lining, and cable car rides to the top of the falls. There are also several viewing platforms that offer breathtaking views of the falls and the surrounding landscape. During the winter months, the falls freeze over, creating a spectacular natural ice sculpture. Visitors can also participate in winter activities such as snowshoeing, ice climbing, and sledding. Montmorency Falls is a popular tourist attraction and a great place to visit for anyone traveling to Quebec City or the surrounding area. Whether you're looking for outdoor adventure or just want to take in the natural beauty of the falls, Montmorency Falls is definitely worth a visit. Prince Edward Island Charlottetown is the capital city of Prince Edward Island. It is a charming coastal city with a population of approximately 36,000 people. The city is known for its historic downtown area, which features many shops, restaurants, and museums. One of the main attractions in Charlottetown is the Confederation Center of the Arts, which is a cultural center that hosts many events and performances throughout the year. The center is home to several theaters, art galleries, and a museum dedicated to the history of the Confederation of Canada. Charlottetown is also known for its beautiful parks and waterfront areas. Victoria Park is a popular spot for picnics and outdoor activities, and the Confederation Landing Park is a great place to take a stroll and watch the boats come in. The city has a vibrant culinary scene, with many restaurants specializing in seafood, particularly lobster and oysters. Visitors can also explore the city's history by visiting sites such as Province House, which is the birthplace of Confederation. Overall, Charlottetown is a charming and historic city that offers visitors a glimpse into the rich culture and natural beauty of Prince Edward Island. The Vallon Mountains The Vallon Mountains, also known as the Monts Vallon, are a mountain range located in the Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean region of Quebec, Canada. The range is part of the Canadian Shield and is characterized by its rugged terrain, deep valleys, and dense forests. The highest peak in the Vallon Mountains is Mount Vallon, which stands at 980 meters, 3,215 feet, above sea level. The range is popular among hikers, skiers, and outdoor enthusiasts, with many trails and ski resorts located in the area. One of the most popular attractions in the Vallon Mountains is the Vallonouet Ski Resort, which offers a variety of ski runs and winter activities, including cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, and snowmobiling. During the summer months, the resort also offers mountain biking, hiking, and other outdoor activities. The Vallon Mountains are also home to a variety of wildlife, including moose, black bears, and caribou. The range is part of a protected area known as the Mons Vallon National Park, which covers an area of over 1,000 square kilometers and offers many opportunities for wildlife viewing and outdoor recreation. Overall, the Vallon Mountains are a beautiful and rugged destination that offers visitors a chance to explore the natural beauty of Quebec's wilderness. Whether you're a hiker, skier, or nature lover, the Vallon Mountains are definitely worth a visit.